As the F-35's exhaust flames still scorch Turkish airspace, Egypt has quietly obtained the access card to the Stealth Club. According to a report by Today's Turkey on August 2, Egypt has officially been approved to join Turkey's ambitious domestically produced fifth-generation fighter jet project, the KLAN. This is far from a simple arms purchase. It represents a strategic breakthrough in deepening defense cooperation between the two countries in cutting-edge defense technology, openly declaring Egypt's ambition to secure a core position in the next-generation aerospace technology landscape. Under the agreement, Turkey will transfer key technologies to Egypt, establish joint production lines, and the Egyptian Air Force will bulk purchase this future air combat weapon, marking a silent restructuring of the Middle East's defense landscape. The KLAN's design targets the top-tier fifth-generation aircraft on the international market, aiming to compete with the US F-35, Russian Su-57, and South Korean KF-21. Its core competitiveness lies in its precise low observability design, the fuselage is covered with advanced radar absorbing materials, and its unique multifaceted structure minimizes radar cross-section to the extreme, while an internal weapons bay ensures full stealth capability throughout operations. The conformal fuel tanks currently under development significantly enhance range while maintaining excellent stealth performance. KAN's avionics system is a state-of-the-art configuration. The next-generation active electronically scanned array radar developed by Turkish defense giant Asilsan employs cutting-edge gallium nitride technology, offering ultra-long detection ranges, ultra-high resolution, and robust anti-jamming capabilities, integrating target tracking, electronic attack, and high-precision radar imaging into one system. The advanced infrared search and tracking system can detect thermal signals hundreds of kilometers away even when the radar is silent. The distributed electro-optical aperture system achieves 360-degree spherical surveillance without blind spots through sensors distributed across the aircraft's fuselage, automatically detecting and tracking incoming missiles. The electro-optical targeting system integrates high-resolution infrared imaging and laser capabilities, granting the KO and powerful silent reconnaissance and precise strike capabilities. The propulsion system adopts a dual-engine layout, providing redundant safety measures and laying the foundation for supersonic crews and high maneuverability. Currently powered by two American General Electric F110 G129 engines, each with a maximum thrust of 131 kilonewtons. The fighter achieves a top speed of 1.8 Mach and an operational radius, exceeding 1,100 kilometers. This heavy fighter jet, with a maximum takeoff weight of 27 tons, has an internal weapons bay capable of carrying 1.5 tons of ammunition, equivalent to 4-6 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles or precision-guided bomb combinations. In non-stealth mission mode, its robust wing-mounted weapon capacity can carry up to six tons of weapons, transforming it into a bomb truck. Turkey's ultimate goal is to transition to the domestically produced TF-35000 engine, a turbofan engine developed by Tremotor with a target thrust of 155 kilonewtons. Utilizing three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzle technology, it not only offers greater thrust and lower fuel consumption, but also grants the KLA and overwhelming maneuverability advantages in close combat completely eliminating potential risks associated with external power supply dependencies. The KLN's modular weapons system is the cornerstone of its versatile battlefield capabilities. It can flexibly integrate Turkish-made weapons such as the Falcon medium-range air-to-air -air missile, the Spear Falcon close-range dogfight missile, the KGK series glide-guided bombs, the Atmaka anti-ship missile, and the SOMJ cruise missile. The intelligent weapons management system can automatically optimize configuration, and deployment sequences based on mission requirements. The planned integration of domestically produced electronic warfare pods, high-power jamming systems, and satellite communication suites grants it robust capabilities to suppress enemy air defenses and conduct deep strategic strikes. It can not only defend itself through jamming but also actively disable enemy radar and communication networks. Beyond physical destruction, the I-powered mission system onboard KLN can analyze massive amounts of data automatically identify high-value targets, assess threat levels, and provide pilots with optimal tactical recommendations. Predictive maintenance capabilities utilize a sensor network throughout the aircraft to monitor system status in real-time, significantly improving aircraft availability and sortie rates. Fully compatible with NATO standard encrypted data links, it serves as a core node in multinational network-centric warfare, enabling real-time information sharing and coordinated operations with early warning aircraft, drones, and friendly forces. A small number of KLAN aircraft can achieve combat effectiveness far exceeding their numbers, 
Egypt's participation in the KON project represents a strategic alignment between the two countries to break through geopolitical constraints. Turkey was excluded from the F-35 program due to its procurement of Russian-made S-400 systems, while Egypt has long been constrained by Western arms sales restrictions, leaving it unable to acquire top-tier equipment. The KON has become their shared solution to breaking the blockade and asserting defense autonomy. For Egypt, this is not merely about purchasing fighter jets, but also about gaining access to the goldmine of fifth-generation fighter jet research, development, production, and maintenance technologies. Technology transfer and joint production are at the core of this initiative, positioning Egypt to become the first African nation with the capability for joint production of fifth-generation aircraft. This not only ensures the Air Force's ability for autonomous maintenance and reduces life cycle costs, but also systematically enhances Egypt's aerospace industry's design, manufacturing, and integration capabilities. The production line Egypt plans to establish is initially expected to meet the needs of over 40 aircraft upgrades, with future potential targeting the vast African and Middle Eastern markets. This move will redefine Egypt's status as a regional defense hub and significantly enhance its political influence within the African Union and the Arab world. Turkey, meanwhile, stands to gain multiple strategic benefits from Egypt's participation. First, Egypt has alleviated the project's massive financial and logistical pressures, with its capital injection and confirmed orders providing critical support for research, development, and testing. Secondly, as one of the largest military powers in the Middle East and North Africa, Egypt's official adoption of the KLAN will serve as the best endorsement of its performance and reliability, exerting a powerful demonstration effect on potential buyers in the Middle East. North Africa, Central Asia, and Southeast Asia. Finally, the successful joint development model significantly enhances the KON's global appeal and competitiveness, demonstrating Turkey's ability to offer deep technical cooperation and industrial partnership that traditional giants are unwilling to provide. Turkey's global strategy has already been implemented. The preliminary agreement reached with Indonesia not only involves KON exports, but also includes joint R&D and technology transfer provisions. Indonesia which has long relied on Russian-made Sukhoi and Western F-16 aircraft, faces urgent needs to address fleet aging, diversify sources, and enhance domestic defense capabilities. The KLAN, with its outstanding cost-effectiveness, advanced technology, and potential for deep industrial cooperation, has become an extremely attractive strategic alternative. Turkey's commitment to technology transfer and potential localization aligns closely with Indonesia's Indonesia Manufacturing 4.0 strategy. Although the details of the final procurement contract remain to be determined, the strong willingness of both parties to move forward makes Indonesia highly likely to become the KON's first overseas user, signaling that its market is not limited to the Middle East and North Africa. Turkey's strategic vision extends to the broader global south, countries like Pakistan, Azerbaijan, Bangladesh, and Malaysia, which seek advanced capabilities but are constrained by budget, political, or technical acquisition challenges, are all potential targets for the KON. The KON is not merely a fighter jet, it symbolizes technological sovereignty, strategic autonomy, and a new model of international defense cooperation. When its engines roar in Cairo or Jakarta, the significance it represents transcends the realm of steel and avionics, heralding the accelerated arrival of a new global defense era characterized by greater multipolarity and freer technological flow. The traditional military-industrial supply landscape is being reshaped, and the initiative in shaping the future aerospace power structure may be taking root in ambitious collaborations, like the Turkey-Egypt joint production line. This aerospace revolution, which began in Ankara, is sending shockwaves from the banks of the Nile to Java Island ultimately reverberating through the deep structures of the global defense system.